Hi guys, I'm Jim and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop. Last night, uh, if you've been watching all these videos, we rolled that snapper out of here. I put the mower deck on, I got to tighten the belt up. I'll show you how to do that and uh, get the cover on. And then I guess I'm going to put the bagger on it and we're going to blow around the yard and see how this thing works. I haven't started it yet. <laughs> you guys have been through this whole thing with me. So I thought I'd wait and we'll start it online and see how it runs. Let's go out there and check it out. Okay, now if you're putting a new belt on or you're assembling this thing like I am, to get the belt over the drive disc, you first, before you tip it up, save yourself some work, put it in fifth gear. That will slide your chain case over out of the way so you can slip the belt between the drive disc and the chain case. Otherwise, if it's in neutral, you're never going to get it on. Now to adjust this thing, we have to loosen up this nut that's on this tube. There's a clamp right here in front of the battery that clamps around this tube. This tube has to slide in and out. That's what tightens up your belt. Now to get that to slide, you might have to put a little effort in it. I don't know. Nope, that's I think that's a little too tight. That's too loose. It's hard to get it right where you want it. We're going to try it right there. That don't look too bad. Now you got to tighten this clamp back up. Now we drop the deck all the way down. We should be able to sneak this cover back in here. I think this was the biggest job of the whole thing. <laughs> they sure didn't design this to be easy. Beginning to wonder if I was going to get that on. I had to take this off to drop down your door for your chute to get this off. So, yeah, it's one thing after another on this baby. Live and learn, I guess. Now, I've had a battery charger on this for a little while because the battery is pretty weak from uh, just sitting for so long. So let's take that off and see if this thing will start. Remember, you always want to unplug the battery charger before you unhook your clamps. And if you're hooking it up, always hook your clamps up before you plug the charger in. I did that backwards once years ago, and I blew up the old, blew a battery up in a car. That wasn't pretty. Well, let's see. Give her some gas. This might be noisy. So if you got headphones on, take them out.
Let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> Remember, after you put the belt on and you have it in fifth gear, put it in neutral before you start it. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. That sure runs nice, don't it? Well, by the looks of my yard, I don't know if you can see it. Let me pick this up by hand. I just did my yard last night. And you can kind of see my leaves are coming down like crazy. I've talked to guys at the shop and no, we don't have any leaves in our yard. Mine's just clean. Well, I don't know what kind of trees he's got, but they sure don't have the kind I do. Well, I guess that's a, <laughs> that's a lesson for you. <laughs> Always make sure your snapper's in neutral before you start it. Uh, most of them have safety switches on, but, you know, I'm the safety guy. I rip them suckers off. I don't use guards. <laughs> Eventually, them switches will wear out on you and break, and you have the option of either replacing them, which they're not cheap, or just doing away with them. I mean, what do you really need them for anyway? If that would have started, I could have ran and caught it <laughs> eventually. <laughs> that's not as bad as night four when I caught the other one on fire. That's that's another story in itself. But uh, if you're interested, send me an email and I'll tell you what happened with that one. <laughs> I don't know. I might have put it on the video last night. But uh, that's it. Uh, if you've stuck out for all these videos, uh, you should be commended. <laughs> They've been a little humorous sometimes, but I'm going to throw the bagger on that thing and I'm going to blow around the yard, see how it works. So until next time, work safe. Good Lord, you, you got to do that. Uh, subscribe. Send me a uh, send me a notice down at the bottom of the video. Tell me what you think about this whole series. I've had a lot of response from I can't even count how many people have emailed me or notified me on these videos that they need help and it's been great. I've met a lot of neat people all over the country. Um, I've been keeping track. I think I have, oh, I got a little map over there. I, I don't know, I think I've got like 14 different states and there's a lot of states like Florida and California I have multiples in. I called, uh, let's see, I think it was Randy last night in Montana. Talked to him for about a half an hour, helping him out. It's, it's really been cool. I, I enjoy this a lot. And uh, I hope you do too. <laughs> Some parts are a little more enjoyable than others. <laughs> As you can see with that episode, I don't edit. <laughs> I do this by myself. I'm using a cheap little $120 Samsung tablet and uh, the way you see it is just the way I film it. So send me a line if you want to JNR Woodworking2 at gmail.com or Jim's Fix It Shop at gmail.com. They both come to me. Uh, I guess that's it. Work safe, have fun, and we'll talk to you soon. <laughs>